In this video, I'm going to show you the steps I would take to troubleshoot a stepper motor on your 3D printer if it's not working. I'm going to take this direct drive stepper motor as an example here because one of my viewers is having trouble with it, but this could apply to other steppers as well. I've removed the handle that comes here so you can see better, but the first step is I would cut off the power and I would come and try to spin the motor by hand. If it's spinning, that's a good start here. It means it's not stuck or anything. Next, let's try to spin it manually using the printer. Now, after powering on the printer, let's go under motion and move that extruder. By the way, if it's the extruder motor, make sure you preheat the nozzle. Otherwise, the software will complain and not let you move it. Let's go and move it by one millimeter. And we're gonna manually spin this wheel to move the extruder. Now let's see if it's actually moving. So we're gonna manually move that motor. Let's go see if it's moving. Let me show you there. It, there's the motor, see if I can get focus. And you can see that it is in fact moving. If it's not, uh, by the way, if it's moving, that's a good sign. If it's not, then we will try the third step, which I will show you next. So let's say you tried this second step and your stepper motor did not move. Uh, now let's find another motor that is actually moving. So we're going to go to the uh, move axis and we're going to try to find another stepper motor that is actually working. So for example, since our extruder did not work, well, mine did, but I'm just saying, for example, if your extruder did not work, let's go to move the X axis and see if that one is working. So I'm going to move the X axis and see if that is working for me. Now I am able to move the X axis. So let's say my X axis stepper is working when I move it manually, but my extruder is not. Obviously, uh, that assumes that you already checked the cables. The cables are already connected. Everything else is in place. Nothing obviously visible that is causing the motor to not work. So here, I'm gonna actually plug this, the broken stepper, onto the X axis stepper just to make sure that it, the motor is working and everything else is powered correctly. Now that I verified my X axis is working, I'm gonna take the X axis cable and use it for the extruder. So I know this cable working because this stepper just worked. So now I'm gonna use it, replace it with the extruder cable, and then Moving the X axis should move my extruder if everything is working. This is just to test the wires. I hope this makes sense. You can see here that I just connected the X axis to the extruder using this extension cable. Now, if I move the X axis, my extruder is supposed to move. Now, this is not how you configure the printer. This is for testing purposes only. So now we've connected that extruder to the X axis cable. Let's go ahead and move the X axis here and see if that's going to move the extruder motor because we already know the X axis cable working all the way through to the motherboard. So moving this should now move the extruder because remember we flipped those cables. Now let's take a look at the motor while I'm moving the X axis. You can see the extruder is moving, but a lot faster because it thinks this is the X axis. This should tell you that the problem is with the cable or somewhere in the connection because the motor is working using the other, other stepper motor cable, right? If step three did not move the motor, this might tell you that the motor itself is dead because now we know we have a working cable, we have a working motherboard, but the motor itself could be just dead. So that might be the reason if after step three, that the motor is still not moving. In step four, we have to open the motherboard case. And now we're gonna swap the E, the extruder, with the X axis. That, that'll be the very last one there. So you can see here, that very last one is the X axis and we're gonna swap it with the extruder. This will allow us by moving the X axis, will allow us to validate the extruder cable and make sure the path is working and by moving the extruder, we can validate if it's the motherboard pin that is broken or causing the problem. So we'll swap these and I'll show you what to do next. 
So now I've swapped the extruder with the X axis here from the motherboard side. So let's go ahead and move. First, we're going to move the, let's go ahead and move the X axis. And here we're going to move the X axis. Let's do one. And that should move my extruder because again, I flipped it, right? So you can see that the extruder is moving, assuming this is not moving, then this will be a proof that it is your cable because now we plugged it into the X axis and we already know that the X axis motherboard pin is working. So in this case, it would be the cable or maybe the motor. Now let's go ahead and move the extruder and that will validate the motherboard pin unless it moves the X axis. I hope this is not confusing but uh this is the way that i am doing it hopefully it makes sense let's go ahead and try to move the extruder and by the way if you want to move the extruder you have to preheat the printer so we'll do that and come back now the nozzle is almost hot enough let's go to prepare and move axis again this is the last step which is going to move the extruder i think we're at step five now let's go ahead and move it by one millimeter Remember, moving the extruder, now we flipped everything on the motherboard. This is going to move the X axis. So if I move the extruder, you can see here that I'm actually moving the X axis. It is much slower, so I'm not sure if you can see that. It is moving, I promise, but it's much slower because the extruder moves very slow. And if you remember, while the X axis moves very fast, that's why the, the extruder motor was moving very fast when we swapped the cables. Uh, again. Uh, these are some of the steps I would do. I get this question a lot, so I thought I'd do a video about it. Hopefully, this is not confusing. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. I always try to answer every single one. And again, uh, depend on how comfortable you are. So please do this at your own risk. Obviously, you can break something, uh, swapping cables, connecting things the wrong way, all that stuff. But these are the troubleshooting steps I would take. Obviously, depend on how comfortable you are with your own 3d printer and if are you willing to take the risk obviously it's up to you so be careful and good luck out there i know i have this question a lot where sometimes one stepper motor is not working while the other one is and if that's the case this is an easy way to validate the motherboard the cable the stepper motor all these things obviously there is more to it than this just these five steps but i wanted to make these in a quick video and hopefully help someone out there uh, this is it for this video thank you for watching i will see you in the next one